Hi, Rich Spisano here from Digitally Feelers. And most of you have been working, like myself, in RGB format. When you print, it's CMYK. When you're in RGB, it's R red, green, and blue. But what if you want to change the tints from red, green, blue, maybe to cyan, magenta, and yellow? You know, I wish they would make it easier. And I don't know, you know, how else to let it go. And I, some people think it's really unfair. Oh, wait. What's this? Oh, no. My great animation. <laughs> okay. They think it's unfair. But why are these colors not mentioned when you're in... <laughs> when you're in RGB, why aren't the... This is crazy. I'm sorry. I have to laugh. When you're in RGB, why aren't these colors mentioned? And here's how an easy way, and I'll show you how to work with these colors. Let's take, for example, let's just open up. This is what the slider looks like, the color slider. And if you look at the color slider like that, this is our normal color slider. But wouldn't it be easier just for your own sake? I wish they would just do this so that you can see that red and then cyan. Remember, C, M, Y, and K would be black. That's what you use on a printer. But the opposite of red is cyan. The opposite of green is magenta. And the opposite of blue is yellow. So wouldn't it be nice, these people are just trying to tell us, can't you have just put that on so people see it and understand it better? All right, let's get them off the screen because we don't want to deal with them anymore. <laughs> okay, so let me just show you some things with this picture. Uh, I'm going to take this photo and I'm going to give an adjustment layer and I'm doing curves. So you know what, I'm going to put this one out here just to remind us. So on the curves, if we go to the red channel, right, and what's the opposite of red? Well, here is cyan. So if we pull this all the way down the red channel, instead of red, it's turning to cyan. So this is in between. Or you can go here and just get a little bit. This is lowering the red, but add in cyan. This is raising the red and taking away cyan. So that's what that means. So let me reset that. And then if you go to the green channel, what's the opposite of green? See, now, if this was always here, you'd always know. But now you have to memorize green. The opposite of green is magenta. So think RGB and then CMY. And that's how you have to remember it. So the opposite of green is magenta. So we're in the green channel now. If I pull down the green, I'm going to get more magenta and less green. If I pull it even this way, same thing. So, and it'll be darker or lighter. And then this, if we pull it up, we're getting more green, pull it down, more magenta. Let's reset that. And then the last one is blue. And what's the opposite of blue is yellow. So we pull that down. We're going to lose a lot of the blue and we're adding yellow to the picture. Less blue, more yellow. And same here, we can get a mixture. So we're adding tints of yellow or tints of blue going up this way. The more higher you go, the blue, the more lower you go, the yellow. So that's the difference between this RGB and CMYK. Another way, if you don't have this, and I wish we would have this to remind us, I'm going to hide that right now. But if you just go here to the color wheel, which I work with a lot, I'm just going to pull that color wheel out, see if we can make it. I don't know if it'll go bigger. It won't. So in the color wheel, it's the same thing. If you're in red, the opposite of red, go right across, is cyan. So, and then remember, R, G, B, C, M, Y. So R, G would be green. So let's go to green, which is right around here. And the opposite of green is magenta. And if you go blue, let's go right about there. And the opposite of, well, a little higher, I guess. Let's go right here. And the opposite of blue is yellow. So, so just try and remember, think of when you're printing, you're printing in CMYK, but when you're working with light, it's RGB. So just imagine that your slider, when you go to your colors, imagine that your slider has CMYK on one side. K would mean darker and lighter. So RGB equals CMYK. And that's how you get your cyans, your yellows, and your magentas when you're doing a color thing. 
So I hope you found this tutorial useful and if you did, please click like and subscribe and have a good day. Thanks. Bye.